Make him think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs>
Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Mr. Abalaji, is solid. You take him on a job, just don't ask him about the psychiatric industry. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Usually I choose the more subtle approach, but this time I chose the obvious approach. And Trevor's reaction was definitely different. So let's get on with getting things together, the pieces. The first thing I did was have Trevor go and get the train. And he got to do something real subtle, and he didn't have a stun gun. Michael, the guards are done. I'm about to flip the track. Where are you? I'm driving around the desert. I'll be at the airfield soon. Unfortunately, I overlooked the signal box. I'm running around trying to find it. And it was right there. So, yeah, I wasted a little time here. But in the end, I realized my mistake and went back up into the tower to turn the signal box on. Track's been flipped, Michael. Where are you? I don't know. All this sand looks the same to me. Now you gotta fly Michael to the train, pick up the train cars and the engine. I just wonder why they're doing this. They could have done it with trucks, but it is just a fun game to play. Now that you got the train, pick it up, bring it back, fly it over, drop it on top of the bed of a truck. Like I said, I don't know why they just didn't do this with trucks.
Now I decided to go to the end of the train and pick up this flatbed because it was much easier than trying to locate it in the middle of the train. And now bring it back. Then I flipped to Franklin and had him find a getaway vehicle because it's a lot easier to do one character, one task, and try instead of trying to get into the city again. Yeah, just flip to Franklin. Again, I flipped to Franklin. I drove him around and I'm looking for a good getaway vehicle. This one is not it, but I do see a four door which will serve as a good getaway vehicle. Once Franklin takes it, he has to deliver it to the proper location and then call Lester. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'm going to put it in that garage and I'll call you back. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. The getaway car is in the parking garage, Lester. All right, now all we need is the tunnel bore machine. And then I had Michael go and steal the tunnel boring machine, which is next. Okay, what I'm doing right now, you shouldn't do. In fact, I had a way to get the boring machine without getting a wanted star level. And I'll leave the link to that in the bottom of the description. I actually did it when I did the 360. What I'm doing right now, completely stupid, and I should have just watched my own damn video. I'm going to kill one of the guards and then try and kill some other people, and things just aren't going to work out right. Everyone panics. I get a wanted level. Yeah, this is stupid. Right now, I got a two-star wanted level. Totally stupid. 
I might as well just go run and steal the tunnel boring machine because, yeah, I'm not going to get away with it. It's Or I will get away with it, but it's just very hard with a two-star level to do anything. And I'm going to then cut to where I get the two-star level ended. But I'll show you a little fun I had with this tunnel boring machine driving before I do that. Now I decide to take the back route out, and while doing that, I think, well, why not? I'm just going to drive around the block and try and avoid the police, which didn't work very well. Returning to the scene of the crime, so to speak, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and drive through here and avoid the police. Really stupid. I have a two-star wanted level. Like I said, I already did a video on how to not get a two-star wanted level. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm going to cut to where the two-star star wanted level is gone, and Michael can drive it back to where he's supposed to drive it. Michael. Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Naturally, Lester has made the arrangements, and Michael has to bring it to the parking lot. In these narrow streets, it really stinks. So I'm going to just fast forward to where Michael puts it in the parking lot. I got an arrangement with your weirdo buddy. Dump the truck up there and I'll take care of it. at the lot. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. All the pieces are now in place and Michael can go to the strip club and we can start the big score. Now, like I said, I put in a link below to how to get the drilling rig with zero wanted level and you should follow that advice. I should have looked it up myself and followed it myself, but I didn't, and it made things a lot harder than it should have. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.